Well, today's announcement, a dramatic shift in policy. In a matter of weeks, Governor Newsom is gone from threatening counties that didn't follow the state guidelines to relinquishing control to local health departments. CBS 13's Anna Giles is live in Sacramento, digging deeper on the about face by the governor, Anna. Yeah, this call for local control has been a battle from the beginning, but growing public pressure seems to have forced the governor to soften his stance. The lockdown came fast and furious, and so did the conversation about opening back up. In April, Governor Newsom determined to keep the reopening process the same for all. Keeping people healthy, keeping people safe, using science to guide our decision making. But then pandemic pressure hit. We need our salons open! Yeah. Fast forward a few weeks to today. People can go at their own pace, uh, and we are empowering our local health directors and county officials uh, that understand their local communities and conditions uh, better than any of us. Demands for local control too loud to ignore. The governor now says almost every county in the state qualifies to move through reopening phases quicker. Clearly, um, he's been feeling the heat of, of localities and members of the legislature have been sending him uh, letters. Political analyst Gary Dietrich says the governor's change in messaging boils down to California's diversity. When political pressures are growing in different parts of the state, keeping the state unified on a single track becomes exceedingly difficult. Dietrich says as the science around coronavirus changes, so will the message from the top. COVID-19 is a moving target. It is not a static target. And that's part of the challenge for any governor. Yeah, we spoke to a Placer County supervisor who questioned the governor's authority over reopening altogether. Now, this is something we actually reached out to the attorney general about asking him to weigh in, but his office simply redirected us back to the governor's office. Interesting. All right, Anna, thanks for that live update from Sacramento.